Hello, this is Ron Nutter, author of the v series VMware, A Guide for New Admins. If you haven't heard of the series before, let me take just a second to give you an idea of what you're going to be seeing. When I got certified in VMware several years ago, I kept finding things after the class that hadn't been covered that I thought would have been useful. For example, I didn't know there was patches for VMware, didn't know how to apply them, you know, wasn't sure how to set up a tapeless backup in VMware, how to work with the command line in VMware, how to harden VMware to increase the resistance to hacks, and how to upgrade to the latest version of vSphere. Well, I thought, how can I help? And here was a solution I came up with. Writing an ebook series and producing videos to help walk you through some of the things they don't teach you in VMware classes that can help in the daily administration of various VMware products. What you'll see covered in this series are general tips, how to upgrade, storage, tools, command line interface, backup and snapshot, firewall, and a host of other things that I'm still working on outlines for in, in other books. Well, now we're to the, the meat of the matter. Volume two in this series deals specifically with the command line interface. And initially you think, well, why should I need to worry about that? There's a lot of good things you can do, and there's three different command line interfaces that you'll look at. VCLI, which is the basic command line that you can install on any workstation. The, the, taking it to the next level is something called VMA. It's the command line appliance, so you can SSH to that from anywhere in your network. You don't have to worry about the files you need be already being installed on a workstation. And if you're seriously into getting under the hood, and want to script a whole bunch of, you know, setting up of a VM or doing certain things within the network or however you want to do, then there's the power CLI for the real heavy users. And I've gone through all these different options to show you examples of how to use each one of them. Starting out, VCLI, you know, is going to be a good way to get, kind of get your, your feet wet and kind of get experience with what's going on. Then as you have multiple hosts to deal with, certainly going to the VMA appliance is going to be a logical progression because that way you have all your files in one place. You don't have to worry about this customization file is only on this one system and making sure it's where you need it. It's all in one place. And then if you're really getting in under the hood, you want to specify host names and, and different things, then power CLI is going to be the way to do it. So it's, and you know, it just gives you a good exposure to it. And if you're looking to get a job in dealing with VMware or improving your chances to get that next step up, Knowing how to get around the command line is going to be a way to go. So go ahead and get your copy of it today. You can see this. It's on the Kindle platform. You can either click the QR code you see on the screen, or you can go to http colon slash slash amzn.to slash 1GOW55K. Thank you for your time.